Hello, in this Ionic programming tutorial, we're going to look at the toggle CSS component. Toggle is basically a toggle button that you can click. It's binary one or zero, on or off. Chances are you've seen it in applications on your phone where you're just selecting maybe whether or not you want to. Let me think what you could use a toggle for. The, well, there's, there's a bunch of things. You could have it so it automatically signs you in or not that could be a checkbox that could be a toggle you could maybe toggle features in the application it'll become a lot more apparent when we actually start coding it's very simple and you can have different colors which I've put right here all the source code will be provided so feel free to check that out as well but it's quite a simple toggle you just do label and then the label has a class of toggle inside here you have an input and the input has a type of checkbox remember, remember I mentioned that 30 seconds ago that when you have some sort of toggle to say whether you're automatically going to sign in or not it could be a checkbox it could be a toggle at the end of the day a toggle is just another form of a checkbox it's just I would say it just looks nicer. That's the main difference because then it's still one or zero on or off. So next, you want to add a div. This div needs to have a class of track. Then inside here, you need another div which has a class of handle. And that's it. It is literally that simple. So now let's save it so where is my terminal let's build the project now let's run it in the simulator at the moment i haven't applied any of the color styling i'll do that in a moment as you can see we've got a toggle it's exactly at the top so let me just You know what instead of a break line what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a custom class and I'm literally going to call this custom class gonna add some styling up here so style dot custom class and now in here I'm just gonna put margin dash not right up. Here's 100 pixels. Save that. Rebuild our project. Run it. And there we go. We've got our toggle, which is another form of a checkbox. We click it, it's now on, it's now off. So, pretty simple stuff. It's very, very easy. To actually add style into it, what you do is where we've got the toggle class, we just add another class and we call this toggle dash one of these colors. So positive, balance, energized, whatever. I'm, what I'm going to show you now is how to create a list with a bunch of toggles in there and a label just to dictate or just to illustrate to the user what they are toggling because if they don't know they don't want to be randomly turning things on or off so i'm just going to leave that as it is and below that i'm going to put an unordered list going to have a class of list there is a separate tutorial covering lists so check that out so i'm sure that will help when you're looking at other components that are using lists as well like this one inside here just put a list item for a class i'm going to put a class of item item dash toggle and now inside of here simply put what you're toggling so just some text to show to the user or so something they can read so they know what it is so for this i'm just gonna put i'm going to put i'm just gonna put the number one <laughs> i some reason i couldn't think of anything that's more creative than that so label class equals toggle dash toggle 
you know what, I'm going to leave that like so, because I'll show you, yeah, that's fine, I'll leave, I'll leave this one as it is, and then I'll change another one that I add, which will actually have the different CSS styling, so in here, let's have an input, and you guessed it, the type is checkbox, oops, daisy, And now we just put a div class of track finally inside here. You put another div and this has a class of handle. And now to add more toggles, just copy and paste this list item. Just gonna change this to number two and we're gonna show you how to add these different color classes. So all you do is do toggle dash one of the color names. I'm gonna put royal. I'm going to copy and paste this again. I'll add five different ones. Four, five. So now let's just increment the number three, four, and five. So for number three, so I need three more colors. I'm going to use stable, calm, and energize. So stable, calm, and energized. Save that. Rebuild our project. Now we're ready to rerun it in our simulator. So here we go. So this was the toggle that was on its own. Obviously it still works, but with a toggle in a list format, we we can just add a quick little label which actually just helps the user know what they're toggling. So if I press this one, this one, press this, 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 and this. So here we go. We got the different toggling colors. It actually looks pretty cool. Chances are you probably wouldn't be using loads of different color classes because it doesn't look or i would say it doesn't look very nice because at the end of the day you want it to look uniform you don't want it to look like a rainbow or anything so that's it for toggles we're gonna have a separate video on checkboxes but essentially a very very similar concept if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link in the description to that and a link in the description to the source code from this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day